Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome to my channel. If you haven't already, please subscribe and like this video down below, and also feel free to check out my Instagram at anythingbutnaked, where I post way more on a regular basis. Um, so as you can tell by the title, today's video is the second part of my moving vlog. Um, if you haven't seen the first video, I am moving to New York City just to kind of go back for school and everything and I was just really missing the city so I wanted to kind of go back and just immerse myself in that whole lifestyle and everything. So I ended up finding a place in the Upper West Side. Um, and so I had to furnish it, I had to find all of my furniture and everything, all the home decor. So that's why I just really wanted to bring you guys along you know this whole process with me and to just kind of really give you guys some tips and tricks that I've found along the way so I know I kind of did a little intro last video and so this time I just want to really show you guys what I ended up buying furniture wise right now I'm just currently relaxing in my room right now I'm just catching up on some emails but I figured that this would be the perfect timing to kind of just show you guys everything that I ended up getting. So hopefully this helps. I'm sure a lot of you guys are either moving for school right now or you're looking to probably find a place. Um, so the space that I'm moving into is not that big. That being said, I definitely wanted to find some accent pieces just to kind of make it feel like my place. Um, and a lot of the pieces that I did choose, I found that they have multi-purposes to them, which is perfect for such a small space because I feel like that's kind of the key to really maximizing um, your enjoyment, especially when you're going to go and live in a really small space. So that is kind of what's going on in this video right now. I'm just emailing, just had a Zoom meeting right now. I still have some more emails to catch up on. The dogs are in the background. <laughs> so I just have a few more errands to do right now. I think I'm going to head out, probably get some dinner, um, do a little bit of shopping today, and then I will check back in with you guys later. So I just want to mention really quickly, a lot of the items that I did get, um, I tried to stay within a budget, and so I just wanted to be really conscious about how much I was spending on everything just because I did not want to spend an arm and a leg, especially because I'm a college student, as I'm sure a lot of you guys are, and I feel like in general it's good to save money where you can and then kind of splurge in other areas, and so I wanted to just go for just really minimalist vibes in terms of my living situation just because the city can be really hectic at times and so I just wanted to kind of create a really zen vibe for the house um, or for the studio and so a lot of my pieces are very affordable and so I just kind of wanted to throw that out there in case you guys were wondering so if you like to stay on budget but you also like um, just a really cool aesthetic then I really feel like this videos for you and I feel like you guys will really like these pieces and I'm just really excited to show you guys kind of what I found just because it did take a lot of effort and I'm kind of proud with what I found um, so I think that you guys are definitely going to like it. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with the side table that I ended up purchasing. Um, so this one was from Urban Outfitters and it is the May Bean side table and again this was only $59 which I think is super super affordable and I got it in sort of this whitewash just because I really wanted it to be very minimalistic and just very aesthetically pleasing and I feel like this color kind of just goes with a lot. Um, and I think it's really cute. The shape of it too, I feel like is just perfect for the space that I'm going to be living in. And again, I could use this as either a coffee table, um, on the side of my bed, as a little desk if I need to. So I feel like this was just a really good find. And again, it's from Urban Outfitters, so it's really reliable. I feel like the quality is just going to be so nice. And I feel like it could be paired with a lot, so I'm really excited. I had all of my stuff shipped to the apartment already, and so all of it's waiting for me. So when I get there, I will do another video showing you guys what everything looks like in the space. Um, and so I just had it shipped. 
Now the next thing from Urban Outfitters is actually this Get Naked rug for the bathroom. When I first saw it, I just fell absolutely in love with it. I think it's just so adorable. I low-key feel like it's my life motto. I just think it's so cool. And the colors are neutral, obviously, so it will go with a lot. And this one is sold out. It's no longer available, but they do have different colors. Like they have this multicolored one and again mine was only 39 this one's also 39 and I feel like if you guys are looking for really good bathroom decor especially bath mats Urban Outfitters is just the way to go now in terms of beds I knew that I wanted something that was just very simple I spent so long trying to find the perfect platform bed and I was looking on Urban Outfitters I was looking at Target um home goods literally every place I could just to find a really good steal and I ended up finding a really really cute one on Wayfair like I said it's just a really simple platform one they're sold out online right now but this was kind of let me find it the style that I just wanted was just really really plain and I wanted a white wooden frame too so this isn't the exact one that I found but it was just really simple like this, just a white platform bed with no headboard and I just really love that look. And mine was under $150, this one's only $136. So I feel like if you guys need any bed ideas, Wayfair is just the place to go, especially because they deliver super fast. I've heard it's really good quality, I've never ordered anything off of Wayfair specifically, but um, I've heard they're pretty reliable. And then once I get to New York, I'm just going to have to assemble it myself, which I'm totally fine doing. Um, I watch tutorials on it and it looks really easy, but I feel like if you guys need a bed and you don't want to spend an arm and a leg, then I would definitely check out Wayfair. Now, the next item that I want to show you guys has to do with home decor. So I am a firm believer that rugs just really warm up any space. Um, and I didn't want to get anything big because I didn't want to have to find a place to store it if I decided that I didn't like my space or if I needed to come home for the holidays or any of that good stuff. So I actually found one on H&M.com and it is such a steal. Um, it was under $30 and I just think it's really, really pretty. Um, I think it'll just be, whoa, the lighting's a little whack. Um, but I just think it's going to be so cute in my living space and my favorite color is pink. So it's still a neutral tone, but it kind of has a hint of pink, which I'm totally obsessed with. I'm totally fine with. So this is on their website right now, H&M. And this is what this beauty looked like. I love how it's almost like a woven feel. It kind of has like that woven feel to it and I just feel like it's super minimalist and just really simple. I didn't want too much of I didn't want too much of a design, but this kind of just has like the really nice white detailing in it, which I'm totally fine with because I feel like it'll just blend in with the space really nicely. Now, obviously because I bought a bed, I had to also buy a mattress. Um I was a little Disappointed that I had to spend more money on a mattress, but I think that's totally fine because I have to sleep um, Obviously, and I was a little bit iffy on Buying a mattress online because I'm the type of person where I like to go in and, and touch it and feel it and lay on it With anything that I ever buy especially a mattress But I did do a lot of research and I ended up finding one on Amazon actually and it had really really good reviews This one is by Linen Spa and I got a twin size just because I didn't want to get a super big bed for my space Here it is And because I have Prime it actually delivered, I ordered it two days ago and it already got to my apartment so it's waiting for me there right now. And um, it looks really nice. It has like 4.5 out of 5 stars which is a super good review and like I said, it's under $100 which is such a steal. So if you guys need a mattress, I highly recommend checking Amazon because I just feel like you really can't beat this price. Next up, I... I'm really excited about this next item. It's actually a poof and I didn't want to really buy a big chair because there's already one in the space and so I just kind of wanted to get like a little accessory that I could either put next to my bed 
um, next to the chair that we already have in my apartment or just kind of something where I could just put my feet up on or if I just want to read in the corner or relax I kind of have something comfy to sit in. So I did all my research and I ended up finding a really really adorable one from ourhouse.com. They have an our house that's really close to my house at our shopping mall and so I went in I kind of explored the different poofs that they had and I just found one that I think is really gonna look nice in my space and I just really love the color tones it's super super neutral and so this is what I ended up finding this poof was also under a hundred dollars so it is on sale which I was super happy about and I know it's a little bit more expensive um, in terms of poofs but I just really think that their poofs are such good quality and they're so sturdy and so I definitely wanted to get one from our house. Our rug at our house is from our house. And so I just really trust this company. And as you can see, it's kind of like a tan with these white accents on it. And I'm just so obsessed with this. I'm really, really excited to put it in the space. And so those are the items that I have already purchased for my space in NYC. Like I said, they're pretty much all there already. So once I get there, I just have to unpack everything and start placing it. I might wanna get a few more things when I get there, but I just really wanna go in and just be in my space before I buy more things. I just wanna get a feel for how big everything is and how much room I'm gonna have. I have started looking for some desks just because I will be doing all of my classes online. I will definitely update you guys once I decide and if I decide to end up getting a desk. And then obviously there are just the picture frames and home decor and stuff that I will show you guys if I add anything else obviously. But like I said, I just really want to wait until I get into the space to kind of figure out what else I need. So that concludes today's short video and the second part of my moving to NYC vlog. I'm so excited to keep filming these for you guys. I feel like there's just so much to update you guys on and it's all just moving so fast. That being said, I'm just so grateful and I'm so excited to keep doing this. And I cannot wait to film the next video for you guys. So I'm actually going to New York in a few days. So I'm definitely feeling it, the pressure's on, but I'm so excited. I'm also really tired right now, <laughs> if you can't tell. I've been like living in this sweatshirt from Pretty Little Thing all day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more moving videos coming your way and just more lifestyle and fashion vlogs too. And I will see you guys in my next video.